wasn't any, you know. Yeah, you, had, you had to play Orlando right away. You had to play one more. Florida State quarterback Jameis Winston, podium C. Uh, first off, before we start anything, I want to let y'all know I know I made mistakes. I know I have a pass, but right now it's about me moving forward and earning the trust of all these 32 teams out there, you know? And by saying that, I'm a competitor and I know what I'm capable of doing, so I will be throwing tomorrow at the combine. Great. Why is it exceptionally important? I mean, because it's, this is a game where you can't turn the ball over that much, and it's also a game where a short memory uh, uh, will give you a long time in the NFL, you know, and uh, I'm always a positive guy, so I never view the negatives, and I never even think about negatives at all. What? I had an MRI just like everyone else, you know. I've been playing football for since I was four years old, and my shoulder has been fine. When was that MRI done? Sir? You're not feeling any discomfort at all? No, sir. I got the same shoulder I didn't had the past two years at Florida State. When was that MRI done? My actions. You know, uh, I got to do everything by my actions, and it's not time to explain about what, I, what I'm going to do. But when I do get to a city and to a team, you know, I plan on getting involved in the community. You know, and, and create an image, a positive image, and put everything else behind me. When was that MRI done? The MRI was done yesterday. James, did you see what Bobby Smith said about I didn't see what, what he had to say, but my job as a, as a quarterback is to be the face of a franchise, and any franchise that that is, and I got to do that. You know, and uh, my job is to win games and uh, hopefully win Super Bowls. You know, and uh, I know that that's a big responsibility. You know, this is a job up here, and uh, whatever behind me is behind me. So it's a, it's a new face. What's your baseball career over? Right now, I'm just focusing on football. You know, I'm, I'm a quarterback. And this is actually the first time I've ever just had an offseason just to work on being a quarterback. I've been playing baseball. I mean, I was a pitcher. That might be why the shoulder thing. But, I mean, <laughs> this is my first time having an offseason, you know, and I, and I love it. I love just putting everything to football. You know, I'm a quarterback. This is what I do. James, what have teams asked you about the off-field incidents, and what do you tell them? Uh, not much, you know, but what I do tell them is I have to earn your trust. You know, and I can't talk about the situations or, or anything like that in the past, but what I can do is prove to you and, watch, and let you watch me grow into being the face of your franchise. I believe everything that happens here is very important. You know, I don't look at any any part as being, you know, more important because this is our first job interview. You know, of course I want to make a first impression because first impressions last a long time, but I also want to be about what I'm saying. You know, I'm a young man and but now I'm going to the next level to take a grown man's position and that's important to me. You know, football is my passion. You know, I've been doing this since I was young and I know the responsibilities that I have to take upon when I'm going to be the face of someone's franchise. You know, I'm not into no competition type of thing. You know, I'm out here to, to win games, you know, and be the face of someone's franchise. You know, this is not no competition just between me and uh, Mariota because one thing about me, I plan on winning the Super Bowl the next year, so it's going to be Jameis versus uh, Peyton Mannings and Jameis versus Tom Brady's. You know, I want to be you like that. You know, this is, this after all this combine stuff, you're not going to hear no more about uh, Jameis Winston and Marcus Mariota. Uh, but I want my name to stay relevant for the next 15 to 20 years of my career. Well, definitely, compartmentalizing is all a form of confidence. You know, when you got confidence in yourself, you can go out there and do anything and still believe in yourself. And one thing about me, I'm always staying positive. So I'm a confident person. People may think that by that as arrogance, but I'm just out there confident because when my team look at me, they're going to see a smile on my face because I'm going to tell them, you know what we what we capable of doing, and we're not going to go down with no, with no loss because all we want is a W, and that's the main thing. Well, one thing that, that helped me realize about all my mistakes is getting a chance to be around 
the kids. You know, I, I went to, to read at this uh, elementary in Tallahassee, and when I see how those kids look up to me, I feel bad about myself. You know, the, the, the hardest thing is just being real with yourself and just letting you know that you let some, somebody down. You know, I'm a family person, but when I look in little kids' eyes and I see, like, dang, that little kid may have seen something on TV that, you know, he could say anything he want to say about me, and then I got a seven-year-old brother at home that looks, that's looking up to me every single day. So right then I'm like, I can't disappoint that little man because that's my little brother. I'm his inspiration. You know, in a, in, a, in a way, he living towards me. When I went home, he showed me my high school video, and he said, J. Boo, that's me. And it was me on the film, you know? So I got, I got so many people to inspire, and I got so many little kids looking up to me, not only as a quarterback, but as a person. And then I want to be that role model for them. How much uh, freedom did you have to Well, I had uh, freedom to check and audible to run past situations, but I had a great coach now with Coach Fisher and uh, our quarterback's coach, Coach Sanders, was tremendous. So working with those guys and uh, gaining their trust was very important to me, and I trusted them. You know, just at the next level, I'm going to have to trust my quarterback coach, my offensive coordinator. So that's one thing that I'm very open to doing is being able to call protections and something I'm very comfortable with doing because I have – you know, done this at Florida State. Defensive lineman, Davis Toll. Of course, Toll, of course. a lot of six. people thought I was fat, but, you know, I'm, I'm here. I'm proving everybody wrong, you know what I'm saying? I look good, and I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it, it was a hard decision, especially uh, <laughs> losing to the Ducks, you know, because I, I hate to lose. But at the end of the day, it's, it's about the family. You know, one thing else, I mean, it's four offensive linemen that I have at this combine. Nick O'Leary and Rashad Green. If you were playing quarterback at Florida State, what would you do? All right. Do you think your game and your skills as is transfer well to the NFL passing offense? Of course, but the thing is, I don't even know how good I really am yet. Because like I said, this is the first offseason that I've had since I was four years old. I never, ever been in the February talking to media, especially in playing quarterback. You know, this is the first time I ever played quarterback all year round. And I'm so happy, I'm happy to just be a quarterback right now. James, how important is it for you to be the number one pick in the uh, it's, it's important to me because I know how hard I've worked and, uh, and it would be a, a privilege to uh, get accepted by the Glazer family at Tampa. And uh, I know that I have to gain their trust. I know I gotta gain a lot of people's trust, but whatever happens, this is just my opportunity, and I'm gonna take a take advantage of this opportunity because this is what I this is what I dream of. You know, I dream of being a Hall of Famer one day, and like I said, I dream of being the face of someone's franchise. Why that was? Well, you know, as a quarterback, you got to get better and better every single day. You know, so my main goal next year will be the turnover ratio. So next year, I won't want to turn the ball over as much. But like I said, I'm going to have a, a tremendous offseason. This is my first year being a quarterback year-round, and uh, I look forward to that challenge, and I look forward to being better. Well, I, I think it just would be a, a privilege to, to play in Tampa, just period, just with the Florida State fan base and everything I've been involved with in the state of Florida. And by Coach Smith speaking highly of me, uh, that already, already lets me know if I'm a part of that program, I already have a trust factor in with him. And now all I have to do is accept his trust and gain his trust and help him out. I have. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Best of luck to you, man. Thank you.